Steinway Piano for Sale, Long A, 6 foot 4, Mahogany, 1917, Rebuilt and Restored. This Steinway, Long A, 6 foot 4, Grand Piano was built in 1917 and is honestly priced at $32,000. Serial number is 186347. This is the hidden gem of the Steinway models. Much of this piano was designed like the Model B. This piano has been fully restored with the following. New soundboard, custom duplicated to original Steinway specifications. New maple bridge caps. New falcon wood pin block. Complete action rebuilding using Renner parts and Steinway hammers. New hand rubbed satin mahogany finish with brass hardware. Call John Coley, 847-336-5919. The website is jkpiano.com. And for email, you can contact John Coley at jkoley, j-k-o-e-l-l-e, -L -L -E, at aol.com. Now there is other stock, restored and currently available, along with the Steinway Long A 6 foot 4 Mahogany, built in 1917 at $32,000. We have a 7 foot Steinway Model B Serial 277657, made in 1933. Ebony finish, $38,000. Steinway L. Ebony, serial number 259301, built in 1927, honestly priced at $21,000. There's a Steinway O, 5 foot 10, 1923, in mahogany, completely restored by John Coley Piano 10 years ago, honestly priced at $22,000. And there's a Charles Walters console at $3,200. Call John Coley, 847-336-5919. Inventory of pianos that's ready for complete restoration includes a Mason Hamlin Double B, 7-foot mahogany with ivories. The Double B has always been known and sought after by pianists in the know. This piano was purchased from an estate in Lake Forest and is all original serial number 42613 and indicates 1935 vintage. Also ready for restoration, Steinway L, 5 foot 10 in cherry. This piano has beautiful cherry wood and the classic Steinway style. 334288 is the serial number built in 1951. There's also a Steinway L, 5 foot 10, ebony, with clean piano classic lines. Serial number 224181. Was built in 1923 and needs a new soundboard. There's a Steinway O, 5 foot 10, mahogany, all original, with ivories, this piano is all original with the old growth African mahogany. Serial number 176420. Year built 1916. There's also a Steinway M, 5 foot 7 ebony. This is a very strong piano. Serial number 208795, built in 1921. There's also a Steinway O, 5 foot 10 mahogany. Nice clean piano for restoration. Serial number is 196603, built in 1919. There's also a Steinway O, 5 foot 10 ebony, third generation family piano, all original and needs restoration. Serial number 189362, built in 1917. You can contact John Coley at jcoley, J-K-O-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, at aol.com. So now we're going to go on to the restoration process in John's own words. 
Coley Piano has been custom rebuilding and refinishing Steinway, Mason Hamlin, and other fine pianos since 1976. Unlike huge rebuilding factories trying to mass produce the restoration process, we hand restore each instrument using only the finest parts available. Our mission is not to create a masterpiece, but to restore one. We have to copy what the masters already achieved. Our goal is to bring the piano back to 100% of its original specification. This includes the action, touch, and tone. The work is done by John Coley and his assistant of over 30 years. The entire process of a complete rebuild takes approximately six weeks to eight weeks. Disassembly is the first part. The disassembly or teardown is the first stage and involves careful measurements prior to removing the old strings, tuning pins, and pin block. The plating, either brass or nickel, is marked and packed at this time and is subsequently shipped to a professional plater. Action or keyboard. The action or keyboard is another stage of the piano rebuilding. Here, we begin by completely cleaning and refitting the frame. Next, we re-brush the keys, polish the ivories, or replace the top keys. The upper action or cradle is next. Here, we install the new weapons, hammer shanks, and custom premium hammers. Only the finest Steinway or Renner parts are used. The hammers are a very critical component of rebuilding since they are an important part of the tone of the instrument. Only the finest will suffice. After all the new parts are installed, the action is regulated to exacting standards. A well-regulated action is a pianist's dream, allowing them control of both touch and tone. The plate or harp. The plate is an integral part of the piano. The plate is bolted to the case. Together, they form the structure that holds the 15 to 18 tons of string tension on the instrument. The plate, which is made of cast iron, is very strong. Compared to other forms of metal, cast is brittle and can crack. Care must be taken in handling so that it is not jarred or dropped. Once removed, the plate is washed, sanded, rebronzed, and the lettering is hand painted. Coley Piano does not consider purchasing and does not sell any pianos with plates that are in any way cracked, broken, or otherwise damaged. Falconwood Pin Block Since the pin block is built into the piano, all of the strings and the plate need to be removed to install a new one. It is the highest priority that the finest materials be used. The Falconwood pin block was developed over 60 years ago. It is the best pin block in the world. I have been using it for 37 years and I have never had one fail. The Falconwood pin block is unique in several ways. It is the densest pin block available. The density of a Falconwood pin block is one Point zero. The other pin blocks never exceed 0.80 densities. This means the Falconwood pin block is 20% stronger. When boring the Falconwood pin block, a larger drill bit is used, 0.272. As a result, less wood around the pin block is compressed when the pins are driven in, thus adding years to the life of your falconwood pin block. The falconwood pin block is multi-laminated, 27 ply. A multi-laminated pin block is stronger and more stable than the common five ply blocks. So why doesn't everyone else install falconwood? Simple, because of its density. It requires superior woodworking skills as well as more sophisticated tooling. It is also considerably more expensive than the standard 5 to 10 ply block. Coley Piano uses a 27 lamination falconwood pin block 
in all its rebuilds, thus allowing us to give a 15-year guarantee on all rebuilding work performed. Soundboard. The soundboard is the amplifier of tone in a quality vintage piano. What we look for in a soundboard is crown, curve, and carry of tone. It is not uncommon for cracks to develop due to expansion and contraction, as well as a result of glue joints drying out cracks are repaired by drying the board down and shimming the crack. If a board has lost its crown, it needs to be replaced. As vintage pianos have aged, more sound boards are in need of replacement. Few technicians are equipped or capable of doing this. New soundboard. We have been installing new soundboards to manufacturer specs for over a decade. It is a complex process with selecting the finest Sitka spruce with a very tight grain. The board is then built and tapered to match the manufacturer's specifications. The new ribs are made and tempered. Then, after a careful drying process, the board is glued together in the soundboard press to give us the ideal crown. This is the curve of the board that will deliver the maximum power and sustain that is so sought after in the finest pianos. Next, the bridge with new maple caps will be glued on and the soundboard is ready for gluing inside the case. Reinstall components. At this point, we carefully realign and set the plate location and height in relation to soundboard, bridge, and pin block. This is a delicate and exacting procedure and is the accumulation of all our efforts. Should the plate be off in height or location by 1 32nd of an inch, all of our painstaking work will be compromised. The piano will now be restrung using the finest piano wire and copper wound bass strings. Careful stringing will help ensure good tuning stability. After stringing, the coils will be lifted and the strings spaced. Through a series of tunings, the piano is then carefully brought up to standard pitch. The action with all of its new components will be aligned and spaced and bench regulated to get it playing. At this point, the dampers are installed and regulated. The action. With the heavy rebuilding effort finished, it is now time to work on the delicate points of the action. With the keyframe and action parts fit, we need to find and regulate each key with a series of 14 precise steps. Each key is adjusted to play with the same touch and tone as all the others through the entire keyboard. This is the art of a well-regulated action. Fine tuning and voicing now complete the piano for showing or delivery. John Coley, Steinway Piano Rebuilder, Restoration, Refurbish Expert, and Tuner in Chicago, USA and worldwide. Call John Coley, 847-336-5919. The website is jkpiano.com, and for email, you can contact John Coley at jkoley, J-K-O-E-L-L-E, at aol.com.